Can you see that? Done, not done. Here, done, not done, not done. Hey guys and gals, it's Sweet Project Cars, a cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. Today, it's absolutely beautiful in Pensacola, Florida. It's hot already, and I think it's like nine o'clock in the morning, and the sun is baking the skin off the side of my face already. All right, Sweet Project Cars here. As I mentioned before, we're not being paid to share this. As you know, sometimes we have to take a paid endorsement, but we only do products we know that are really good that we would buy personally, and that's to keep the light bill paid here at Sweet Project Cars. Now, as you look at this right here, we have always looked and strived for a trim coating that will last. And we decided to try something that we've heard about for the past few years. We did this area right here a long time ago and it will last hundreds of washes and they have a guarantee on this product like nothing I've ever seen before. This has not been done. This has been done. That's not been done. All right, I'm gonna share with you how simple this is to do. I'm always sharing. So I take my old 99, put it on a nice blue towel. Julio, tell everybody where all the tools can be found. Buscar en el show más de la descripción de video para todas las herramientas. Thank you, Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez. Antonio, what was the other guy's name? <laughs> Lopez. Lo Lopez. <laughs> Thank you, Consuelo. He liked Clint Eastwood too. Oh, he Clint. told me today. Oh, and Clint Eastwood. Now I know we're going to be sharing here very soon. You're going to get a chance if you're still connected with us. Julio is going to introduce himself. It's just a matter of time. He's a shy dude. And yes, he does exist. All right, so what I did was I cleaned this with my old 99. You don't have to do that. You can just wash your car good. We do this because we know that we're getting the ultimate bond. Now, if you've used 303 or something else on there in the past, use old 99, just get everything off of it. Now, all I do is I take this wipe and there's a real easy way to do it. And they do give you gloves. We'll use their gloves. I usually use the steel gloves. And if you got big hands like I do and enormous feet, just kidding. Um, and I always get that right there. You know what that reminds me of? I won't say it. But anyhow, you take the towel and what I do is I bend it in half and I just lightly go down through it. You don't have to do it real heavy. and overlap it. When you go over up to one side, come down the other and overlap it. That's it. And then look around it and make sure you got all the areas. And it works on rubber, we found. And I'll take you out and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, our contest is coming up July 1st. We're going to go down through our messages and through our subscriber list and just pick people at random. And the more messages we have there and the more comments and stuff that we have, we're going to just pick them. You can win multiple times. The grand prize is going to be awesome. It's going to be the grand giveaway. But we have hundreds of samples and it only takes a tiny, tiny bit of this stuff to lubricate something. Sorry, I got a bug in my face. Tiny, tiny bit of this lubricant to lubricate. So don't use it like you would WD-40 where you just drench everything. Just a tiny little drip and it will uh, creep through everything and it lubes it up like you wouldn't even believe. So July 1st, we're just gonna pick it random. We're going to contact you via the YouTube comments and say, congratulations, you won. We need your address. If, if you're out of the country, you need to have somebody in the United States get it and ship it to you. Okay? It's that simple. Let me go show you some more stuff. All right, so I did this part right here. I did not do that part. And if we get up here, Consuelo, you see that? I did this here. I did not do this. I did this, not that. 
it's kind of hard to see in this Florida sun, but it's a dramatic difference. Let's look at this mirror out here. And I can do the whole dash, and I started doing some of the dash up there. And it's going to be beautiful. Stand right here, Consuelo. That you can do. Can you see that? Done, not done. Here, done, not done, not done. It is an amazing stuff. 200 washes. It's been on there for I can't even tell you how long, and it's still on there. The dirt washes right off. It does not spot up. It's just gorgeous. But look at that. Dull and shiny and beautiful. All right, now when you open these packages, all you got to do is take your vacuum packer, and this is why these are so handy. I can take all of these because they're, they're never completely empty of uh, material on them to be able to use them again. What I do is I just stick them in here. And that sucks all the air out so no matter what they cannot dry out. And if you have your other ones, your new ones that you haven't opened, it's a good idea to vacuum pack those as well. There, we're set to go and I can open that at any time I want. What I'll do is I'll cut just below the seal line, take out what I need to do the job, and then I can reuse this same bag, just reseal it just below the cut. That's simple. So you're not wasting a bag. You're keeping this stuff from drying out. And again, these here that I have not opened, and I probably won't use for a while, I'll vacuum pack those, stick them in a vacuum bag, suck all the air out and they'll be fresh. Sweet project cars, out.